we all know that it's very common for newborns to develop various types of rashes and most of which are harmless and they resolve on their own but these are five rashes that you typically do not have anything to worry about in the newborn one is erythema toxicum this rash typically appears as red blotches and sometimes there could be tiny white or yellowish pustules that's like bumps filled with water in the center and the rash usually shows up within the first few days of life and could last for several days to a couple of weeks it's completely harmless and does not require any treatment at all the second rash is milia these are tiny white or yellowish bumps that often appear on the baby's nose cheeks chin and they could be present for birth or they could start shortly after they are caused by blocked oil glands and typically resolve on their own within a few weeks the third type of rash is baby acne so baby acne appears as small red or white pimples on the baby's face especially on the cheeks the nose and the forehead and it can develop around two to four weeks and may last for several weeks or even a few months and then we also have cradle cap cradle cap typically presents as a greasy yellowish scaly patch on the baby's scalp it typically appears within the first few weeks to months of life and it's not painful it's not itchy and will resolve with some gentle washing and the use of a soft brush sometimes in some babies we could use some special shampoos which your doctor will recommend if needed and the fifth type of rash is the itch rash also called malaria this itch rash will appear as tiny red pink spots and on areas of the skin that sweat like the neck the neck the chest the diaper area and it can occur at any time if the baby is in any overheated or warm environment the main thing to do is to keep the baby cool and dry and it will help the rash to resolve quickly so while these rashes they are typically harmless if you notice any signs of infection such as swelling increasing redness or if the rash is accompanied with symptoms like fever then you need to see your doctor until next time take care of yourself and take care of your baby blooming health and warmth